The Palm Springs Gay Men's Chorus kicking off the post-pandemic return of the 10th annual Harvey Milk Diversity Breakfast. The event honors the memory of Harvey Milk, the first openly gay elected official in California, by supporting the next generation of LGBTQ leaders. News Channel 3's Marianne Bouchot talked with event guests today about their support for Valley Kids and why they say it's important. The Harvey Milk Diversity Breakfast brought thousands of LGBTQ community members and their allies here to the Palm Springs Convention Center, making sure LGBTQ youth in the Valley have a voice. Say gay! Yeah. Say gay! Yeah. The annual Harvey Milk Diversity Breakfast put Valley LGBTQ youth center stage. Coachella Valley High School senior Natalie Villanueva spoke at the sold out event. I just want to be a great role model, the best role model. Sharing her story of being the first and only transgender girl at her school in front of the biggest crowd in the event's 10-year history. I'm talking for everyone, every trans girl out there that is scared to speak on how they feel or what they're going through. This year's event hosted 350 kids, a part of the nonprofit Safe Schools Desert Cities, which empowers Valley LGBTQ plus youth and their allies. All the money raised will go to the organization. We need to make sure that being LGBT is not something that is traumatic or leaves scar tissue. Former city of Houston Mayor Anise Parker was given the Harvey B. Milk Legacy Award. She was the first openly LGBTQ mayor of a major American city and continues the fight for gay rights today. Because anybody who comes to the event is empowered and they come away and they say, what can I do to help equality for all people? That's the communications chair for the event, Jeff Hawker. He says the donations will help give scholarships. And these are the leaders of tomorrow. These are the people who are walking away saying, I want to be a mayor. I want to be the president. So if you are out there and you are struggling to share your stories, do it and don't let anyone tell you you can't. If you're interested in donating to the cause, you can find the link to do so on our website, kesq.com. In Palm Springs, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3. And let's take an in-depth look at the Harvey Milk Diversity Breakfast, which was held in light of recent national headlines, such as the Don't Say Gay Bill in Florida, which bans instruction about LGBTQ uh, issues for kindergarten through third grade. Also, the possibility of Roe v. Wade being overturned, which currently gives women the right to have an abortion. Organizers of the breakfast say these issues raise the importance of this year's event. Woman's right to choose, LGBTQ rights, Everything is in play right now because anytime your rights are at a potential of going away, that that's empowering. And that's when you bring other people into the fold and say, hey, we're going to fight for these rights. Hawker says he hopes this election season brings in more people who are dedicated to fighting for LGBTQ rights.